broken hearted. You ever had a broken heart? You know, your love just left you. You didn't want it to go. You didn't want it to go, but you just came home one day and they were just gone. Broken heart. It's a terrible thing to have a broken leg, a broken ankle, a broken relationship. You need somebody to fix you. I tell you, one of the greatest pains in my life was, can I, can I, can I just be real? One of the greatest pains in my own life as a pastor to grow up, daddy and mama saw I went to school, went to college, got out of college, went to grad school, went to law school, went to Western Theological Seminary, Washington, D.C., got an earned doctorate from Madison, New Jersey, Drew University, Madison, New Jersey. But all during that course of time, I used a drink or drug, not knowing that I was an addict, that I was an alcoholic. Now, it may sound simplistic just hearing me say that, but sometimes it, it is hard getting honest with yourself. Thank you, Jesus. When everybody around you knows that you are, but you don't know. Or you are focusing on everybody else but mirror, mirror on the wall. And so I used a drink or drug, and I used and I used and I used until things just got so bad. And my wife. Yeah, my wife. Come July the 4th, we would have been married. Just come July the 4th, it'll be 33 years. The same woman. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, it's amazing how your life changed, how, how your focus, how your vision, how your spirituality, even how your body changed when you stop doing things in your life to kill yourself. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. I mean, there's a, there's a warning on the label. Uh, cigarettes may be harmful to yourself, but we keep on puffing. It's amazing how I had to go outside the church, being in the church all my life, to find out that I was a leper. 